Hello, and welcome to week three of this Lenten lecture recital series on the topic of published organ meditations. Today we're going to be discussing the meditation as a large-scale work and what that begins to look like in the 20th century. The large-scale meditation begins to differ from the meditations of the 19th century that we would have seen, which are meditations that are either a solo composition or a single meditation movement within a larger work, for instance, the organ symphony or organ sonatas that we saw last week. In the 20th century, we begin to see the meditation take on a life of its own as a large-scale work as composers begin to conceive entire large compositions where each movement of the piece is a meditation itself. The first composition we'll be hearing today is the seventh meditation, Jesus Accepts Sacrifice, from Olivier Messiaen's The Nativity of the Lord. In this piece, we see a dramatic change from the approach to meditations in the 19th century as Messiaen takes the idea of meditation as a single concept that he's asking the listener and the performer to consider. In this case, the large-scale work describes the story of Christ's nativity and, in fact, the vast majority of large-scale organ meditations within the organ literature do just that, taking a well-known and important uh, biblical story and presenting it in a series of meditations. In Messiaen's case, we have in his seventh meditation a very dramatic, dualistic approach to composition where we have a very abrupt uh, loud, forceful sound with the beginning of the piece, and this is juxtaposed with a much more uh, soft, evolving concept. Now, what Messiaen also gives us is not only a title, but a biblical passage in which he wants us to focus on. In this case, Messiaen gives us the passage from Hebrews 10, but the translation is slightly different in French than what we're used to in English. In this case, the subject of the passage is Christ directly speaking to God. And in this case, his acceptance of sacrifice is the bringing in of his body into this world and his final statement of here I am. Please enjoy this dramatic telling of the nativity from Olivia Messiaen's
video, I want to highlight two large-scale organ meditations that are important to 20th century literature. The first is Dupre's meditations on the Stations of the Cross. And this is important because Dupre shows us the importance of improvisation within the meditation tradition. This meditation, which was originally improvised in a concert along with poetry, shows us the importance of the meditation and Dupre's acknowledgement in the Wagnerian approach that he had taken to this concert and the borrowing of motifs from Handel, from Bach, from Franck to construct what is a very complex and rich composition in the organ meditation literature. The second composition I'd like to mention is John Langlais' Meditations on the Apocalypse. And in this composition, we see a later period in his composition uh, following his severe heart attack at the beginning of the 1970s. And we see the telling of the Book of Revelations in a very dramatic form in classic Langlais style. Now, I want to mention Langlais before our final piece because partially his importance to organ composition and the influence to the organ community that Longley had in the 20th century. The final composition we have today is from the American organist John Houston, and this is a meditation from his piece, The Seven Last Words of Christ. What you'll be hearing today is the third meditation in the collection, Woman, Behold Thy Son, Son, Behold Thy Mother, and we hear Houston boring elements both from the 19th century and from the 20th century. We hear the clear influence of the 19th century meditation in its melodic quality and its rich, luxurious sound. But we also hear the influence of Longley and the 20th century in the use of a St. Gregorian chant, in this case the Stavat Mater, in the pedal, which Houston acknowledges as a strong influence and the impetus for this meditation, but also notes that it is not by any sense the most important element of the piece, and therefore it should not be um, highlighted in the registration. The final piece I'd like to add before we move on to our final organ meditation is that both compositions show us how different the organ meditation in these large scale works can be. Both have a similar influence in Messiaen's meditation is Christ speaking to his father and his approach to that conversation relationship. And then we have Houston's presentation of a meditation which is Christ speaking to his mother and how that is depicted. Two very different composers, two very different approaches to the meditation, but we see how the meditation begins to drastically expand within the 20th century. Next week there will not be a video from this series as at St. Bartholomew's we will be acknowledging Otari Sunday during Lent 4 and the coming back of the organ uh, during service, but the final video in this series will be airing following last Sunday in Lent, Lent 5, and in this final video we'll be discussing all things Longley, his improvisational style, his general approach to composition, and what this means to the important contribution that Longley makes to the organ meditation.